I've had a request to provide a little more information about the modification that I made to the carriage lock on my uh, King 10 by 22 lathe. So I put together a short little video and let's go have a look at it. Well, we're looking at the original carriage lock. There's a screw right here and that screw is attached to this piece here which is pulled up against the bottom of the lathe way. So if you want to adjust that screw you can tighten it up and now your lock and your carriage won't move. Or you can loosen it off and the carriage now moves. Now all I did was I removed this screw. Try to get it out of here. And you may have to get a magnet to pull that out of there. But it's just a regular socket head screw and it's a six millimeter screw. So we'll take a look at what I replaced that with. So here is what I made to replace that carriage lock screw. Originally we had this was your carriage lock screw. I made up this piece here. Now this is almost an inch around this way diameter. And down on this end, let's see we'll give you some measurements here. We are oh three hundred and eighty-two thousandths. This is not fussy. This is just to take some slop out of it when it fits in the hole. The, uh, the length of the thread sticking out here, that is, oh, almost an inch, 953 thousandths, and it's six millimeters. In one side of this, I drilled and tapped a hole, and that is for this handle to fit in. It just screws right in there. So that you can take and turn this back and forth to lock it and unlock it. It's a lot easier than going out and looking for that uh, particular Allen wrench that, that fits the screw. But uh, it's not hard to make and it, it makes life a little easier. So that's how I did that. When you're assembling this and you screw this in, you may find that the orientation of this hole for the threaded handle is maybe over here and you don't want it there. So you can always slide a washer or two washers or whatever it takes underneath here on the, on the screw that goes in here and you'll find one that will get you to the right spot. And you do have to make the handle separate you can't make it all one piece because you have to turn this in and of course you couldn't do that if the handle were on already. So you put the handle on after. And we've got a couple little flats on here for a 7 16 wrench to tighten that handle up. Carriage lock now just goes like that and you're locked like this and you're not.